Hey everybody, it's Brian. I um, wanted to do a follow-up video on predicting SPX with Magic 8-Ball. So I did a video that on my YouTube channel, you're watching it now, all predicting SPX. And it just kind of detailed, you know, what I'm working on, which is a Python application, let me pull it up, that pulls down from Thinkorswim using their developer API and does a whole lot of math to try to guess where the stock market is going. And this is it's given me multiple splitting headaches to try to get here. Um, it's actually fairly accurate. I covered that in the previous video, and I'm trying to make it even more accurate. Uh, today was kind of like a soft day so far, and yesterday was a wacky day on the market. And even with the wackiness, it was only like $8 off. It was it was kind of like, wow. So, so for example, here's a Condor. And I'm going to kind of walk through this in case you're a developer. Um, a condor is a range, so you have to be in this range here. So this blue line represents the range. This zero represents the profit line. So if you're above zero, you're in profit. If you're below zero, you're at loss. You see these numbers down here where my mouse is circulating. The kind of, I don't know, I'm not good at colors, magenta. <laughs> that's the time curve or the time decay. And the blue is at end of day. So at end of day, if it's over here at say 4173, it'd be a negative 460, it'd be a max loss. However, if it was in this range, it would be a max win of $40. Now, if you're like me, $460 to win $40 is a horrible risk to reward ratio, but that's how condors are designed. And this pink line, you see how the number moves, represents if you were to hit the eject button in time, meaning right now. So if I hit it right now, I would be at $34.96 and this condor maxes out at $40. So this is pretty much at max profit. It is uh, late afternoon here and I actually entered this condor early morning based off what Magic 8-Ball predicted. And what I mean by that is Magic 8-Ball has been kicking out these predictions and it's I, this part's experimental, but it's been kicking out these predictions and I plug them into Thinkorswim you notice I'm in simulated trading. Option traders take note, simulated trading, the fills are absolute garbage. So when I do these, I'm doing them to expiration, meaning I'm going to let this condor run all day long to expiration. And then when I'm done with work, I'm gonna come back and go, hey, did it win or did it lose? And so far, these have been very, very good. For example, this little line here, I don't know if you can see it, that right there is where the current price is and it's almost dead center when i opened this it was actually over here so at market open it was up a bit let me see if i can pull up the chart here yeah it kind of like i am so horrible at thinkorswim there we go it kind of like jumped up and right around here is when i entered the condor and i said it was going to be down here or i should say magic eight ball said it was going to be down there so enough babbling that's what I'm testing right now is I'm testing different trades that Magic 8-Ball kicks out. Um, how do you find these trades is one of the questions I've gotten asked. Um, let me flip over here. I did set up a Discord server and I set up a bots channel and it's just in here kicking out predictions all day long. I think I've got it queued for once a minute and it's saying you know, current price, closing price, and then the range, and then it's telling market center, market range, the volume node target and then the volume node range and that's like the dominant volume node if you know anything about volume profiling um, this server void Realms, is not locked down i literally it's just a test server i opened up i've got a lot of developers in a facebook group ironically called void Realms, and i'm probably going to tell them about that and convert this whole thing into a developer chat room and i'm going to once this discord bot has fully been tested move all of this over to Axe Options. And if you're wondering what Axe Options is, this is a group of professional traders. I am not a professional trader, I'm a developer, but these folks are nothing short of amazing and they've been super helpful at answering my questions. I feel right at home. So um, if you're an investor or an options trader, go to Axe Option on YouTube, go to About, and then click Join Axe. And I don't get paid. Uh, I wanna make that very clear. This is a subscription group, and I am a member of that group. I'm not an admin or anything. I joined this group because I want to be around the professional traders and take all of their knowledge and plug it into the math behind all this code. And so far, it's been fairly lucrative for, I think, me and them. I think it's been really good. 
I've actually been winning option trades for a change since I started developing Magic 8 Ball, or before I was just losing. So I'm kind of crunched for time. This is going to be a shorter video. I'm going to try and bust through questions real fast. A, how do I contact you? I had a few of those. Um, go to voidrealms.com, all one word, void realms. I'm actually a developer and I do online computer instruction as in my spare time. Um, I've just been kind of transitioning over to uh, developing the Magic 8 Ball system just because I got into options trading. Um, again, I was hospitalized recently, so if I'm babbling or if my voice is going in and out, forgive me. Um, I also have my YouTube channel, Void Realms, where I actually teach computer programming. I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you're curious on how to program, there's tons of videos there. Um, and Axe Options. I'm actually in their Discord group. Pull it up right here. I'm not going to go in there because I don't want to give away their secrets accidentally. But um, I'm in there all the time. And they actually made like a little channel. I think it's called Code, where me and a few other folks hang out. and We talk about this all day long. Um, so that's how you can get in touch with me. Um, another question is, what does the future of this look like? And this is me just kind of daydreaming. I don't know if I have this level of free time, but I want to set up something like this. Right now, it's just running on a little server I have at home. But I want to, you know, set up a few backend servers. These would be like the number crunchers that are going to run Magic Eight Ball because all of this so far is just the backend. If you don't know what a backend is because you're not a computer person, it's just a server or code that sits in the background. This will pump information over to a database. That database will feed a web server, so you could go to a web page. And, of course, the Discord bot that I'm testing. And i um, probably going to develop a mobile app, and the user will be able to do all that. I'm not certain if I want to even go down this road, but a friend of mine suggested that I sell subscriptions, meaning like you would pay to be part of this website or Discord or whatever. Um, I don't know if I could handle that or if I even have that kind of free time. Again, all of my attention is really on this code. And I'm more of a back-end developer. It's what I enjoy. And a lot of this is stuff that I've done and I can do. It's just going to take me a bit longer. Um, but that being said, that's kind of the future is I want to really build this thing out and make it publicly available. Um, may charge subscriptions, may just, you know, you know, log in and here it is free of charge. I don't know. Uh, Discord is what I'm focused on now and I've designed this so these backends can actually pump to multiple. So like I could do like, see if I can do the power of copy and paste here. Here we go. I can do like multiple Discord servers. So like uh, we could have Axe Group, my own, somebody else's, you know, somebody else wants it too, that kind of thing. Um, my friends are more business savvy than I am, and they've told me don't give this away for free. So I haven't even entertained the idea of allowing it to go anywhere other than my group and Axe's group. Um, and once it's tested, of course, it's going out of my group and fully into Axe because this is where the professional options traders are, and I want them to be able to give me feedback. Um beyond that a lot of what i'm testing right now are you know throwing out test trades and then letting them run to end of day to see if they expire now if you don't know what that means in the options world this condor if this price lands in this range i get that full 40 dollars credit right 40 dollars doesn't sound like a lot but if you multiply that by number of trades five days a week you could pay for a very nice house using this I mean, you can make just an ungodly amount of money. And of course, if you know options, you know you can design the trades, not just condors. I mean, this can do butterflies, verticals, so on and so on. Uh, you can design trades so that you can win big and lose big. I'm just really focused on how accurate is this for end of day expiration. Um, final note I had, I had some, some actually some harsh critics, which, you know, I kind of took that with a grain of salt. People are skeptical of things. I am as well, being a developer, I deal with logic. Um, and they said, you can't possibly predict the stock market because things like the stock market is more than just math. And SBX is actually 500 companies, not just one thing. You can't possibly predict them all. You're absolutely right. I do agree totally. This will never be able to predict like UFOs landing in Times Square or all out nuclear war or, you know, our president saying something he shouldn't. Um, but it's just, it really helps, I think, people like me that have limited skills in the market really figure out what's going on under the hood. So, for example, that Condor, 
I entered here, and at that time, all signs pointed to up. Everybody thought this market was going to just rip all day long, and Magic 8-Ball said, nope, it's going to be about down here somewhere. And that's where it's been all day, right where Magic 8-Ball set and actually this trade is pretty much full profit so if i wanted to i could close the trade for full profit right now um i'm babbling i'm slightly medicated from my last hospital visit forgive me um i will try to make regular updates to this but um i'm actually more focused on just family and getting back to life and work and you know this is kind of like just a side project um but if you have questions or concerns or if you just want to chat or whatever visit the void realms discord i may I'm leaning towards keeping the server, but I may remove it. But um, I'll be in the Void Realm server, and uh, you can always, of course, go out to my website and just contact me via there. Talk to you later. Bye.